I entered the Army at Fort Thomas, Kentucky in January of 1942. I did basic training in the cavalry at Fort Riley, Kansas, and I joined the 11th Cavalry Regiment in April at Camp Lockett, California. In July of 1942, at Fort Benning, Georgia, we converted from horse to tank and became part of the 11th Armored Regiment. On September 20th of 1943, a separate tank battalion, the 712th, was activated, and at least 40 of us constituted the corps of the enlisted personnel of Company A of that battalion. We were, by and large, still the corps of that company when the 712th landed on Utah Beach in Normandy on June 28, 1944, 22 days after D-Day. We thought then, and never thereafter doubted, that we were the best tank battalion in the U.S. Army. I recently had occasion to reread approximately 100 letters I had written while in the European Theater of Operations, which my mother and sister had saved. They are more authentic and graphic than our later recitals from memory. I have chosen excerpts from 18 of them, which, although kaleidoscopic in presentation, I hope provide a revealing account of one of your members who had no idea that in 1944 and 45 he would be firing guns instead of writing briefs. I am now in France. We got to the port of embarkation at breakfast time. Stars and stripes, to the contrary notwithstanding, we still had powdered eggs and powdered milk, and learned that the company would go over on an LST, save for four tanks, mine included, on an LCT with an English crew. We sardined into the flat craft and in 24 hours arrived at the beachhead. Hundreds of boats, ranging from rowboats to battleships, Spitfires, P-38s, C-47s, etc. circling overhead. Jeeps, trucks, tanks, half-tracks, scout cars, bustling about without apparent signs of organization. Stacks of sunken ships sticking up in the water. Smashed German pillboxes. Wires. Hundreds of them strewn all over and attached to every available fixture. Barrage balloons. MPs pointing this way and that, trucks and ambulances stuck in the sand, a large batch of prisoners being herded onto a boat, signs pointing out minefields. Everything so apparently chaotic and yet through it all, our four tanks moved, directed by the most efficient MPs, with clipboards on which the next destination of each unit was set out. Yesterday I received five letters from you. My first sense hitting the beachhead, and I read and reread them all. We have been for the last few days just behind the front lines and hear only the big guns, save for small arms fire here and there, wiping out small pockets of resistance. Pete and I decided to scout around a bit and ran into two infantrymen of a division which had just come in. They asked, have you been up front yet? Our response, gestures and inflections the same as though the question had been, have you been downtown today? Yeah, we've been up. Well, they pant. How is it? Pretty rough? It's rough, all right, we reply, with a know-it-all glance at one another, goddamn rough, and are smothered with admiring glances. Silly as it might sound, little incidents like that boost our morale. <laughs> 